this is my full on honest opinion about it to give you guys a little update on the capsule wardrobing with the girls that i did a few weeks ago hey now take a step outside and seize the day now set aside your worries it's so hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i have some serious motivation for you i've got a lot to clean up as you can see and it was just one of those days that everything went crazy and my girls were busy <laughs> i just needed to get everything kind of picked up and cleaned up i wanted to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by make lemonade vacuum cleaner the make lemonade uv dust mite vacuum removes harmful and bothersome air such as pet dander, allergens, and bacteria through the replaceable HEPA filter. And this is one of the coolest parts, I think. The UV bulbs destroy dust mites without the use of harsh chemicals for safer clean. So this is amazing for moms. I love the idea of being able to grab this quickly and sweep up crumbs and all the things that little ones bring. The dust beaters flap up to 8,000 times per minute, so that kicks up a lot of dander and debris for thorough cleaning. With the UV light, this thing really sanitizes, so it's great for couches and mattresses vehicles I mean you name it you know how it is having kids we want to get rid of as much bacteria in our homes as we can also you all know that I love anything cordless and the conveniency of not having to plug this in and just grab it whenever I need to also the battery does last 20 minutes you're gonna see me use this vacuum throughout this video in different ways and if you guys check out the link in the description box you can pick it up off of Amazon I started off in the laundry room and just got all of the clothes that had come out of the dryer from somebody digging for something. <laughs> you know how it is when laundry's backed up, everybody's always looking for whatever they need and laundry baskets get dug through. And to be honest, I, my goal for this day was to completely get all of the laundry done but as you'll see i actually ended up splitting this into two days and getting some of it done this day and then tackling the laundry the next day I know I've been getting a few comments here and there about the fact that I shouldn't put up Christmas decorations before Thanksgiving, but to be honest, it brings us so much joy and we just love having Christmas decor up and why not enjoy it for two months instead of one month, especially whenever you put so much work into putting all the decorations up. One of my absolute favorite things about this time of year is in the evenings when all the lights are off and we just have the glow of the Christmas lights and with the ones I have above my cabinets, they really light up the kitchen well without any overhead lights on. So it just makes our home so cozy and I love the atmosphere it brings. The two days prior to this were crazy. We were in and out of the house. There was just so much going on and I was doing cooking in between and I just did not get all of the dishes tackled. And to be honest with you, there are days like this day that I actually run my dishwasher twice. I just have so much to accomplish in a day like this and sanding and washing dishes that don't fit in the dishwasher just are not a priority to me.
Sometimes I end up making my bed in the second half of the day, which I don't even mind because to me, the true satisfaction is whenever I go to bed at night and it's made. So even if it's not made first thing in the morning, I will still try to make it in the afternoon. All right, so this is actually the next day, and I, oh my goodness, when it comes to my daughter's rooms, um, this one is my youngest daughter's room, and it's also where all the toys are in her closet, and we do this maybe about once a week. I want to get better at making it a little bit more limited on what they're allowed to take out of the toy closet and then putting things back whenever they want to get something else out. But um, yeah, so we needed to do this as you can see and the girls have been really great at helping to organize and clean up their toys and put things where they go. go up to our bonus room it has nothing in it right now we just use it for guests um, and put like an air mattress or whatever up there but the girls do go up there and run around sometimes so I try to vacuum the steps off like every two weeks or so After the girls were in bed, I made myself a cup of decaf coffee and I wanted to catch up on some YouTubers. So I sat in the living room and tackled my mountain of laundry. I think there was like about four loads or something like that. And my method and how I do this is we hang up all of our tops and then um, our pants or the girls pants get folded and then our pants get folded right now, but we actually have space in our walk-in closet to hang them all. And eventually I'm going to, I just haven't gotten the hangers to do that. So right now we've been folding ours and um, I do want to do a closet cleanup of Corey and I's closet really soon. So you guys can be on the lookout for that video. So I'm pretty much done folding the laundry and I'm getting ready to put it away. But I wanted to give you guys a little update on the capsule wardrobing with the girls that I did a few weeks ago. Um, I know I had told you that I would let you know, you know, my thoughts on it and when I like took the plunge and just did it and got rid of a lot of stuff and really minimized the things that they wear. And to be honest, this is my full on honest opinion about it. I actually think we still have too much. <laughs> it might sound crazy, but I really do like even having basically like a little more than a week's worth of clothes. There is still stuff that I don't think we really need around, but We'll work on it. I'm sure I'll tweak it as I go. And I'm actually getting ready to tackle my own closet. So that'll be coming really soon. Um, I'm really going to minimize a lot of the things that I have in my closet. Um, and just kind of like work with the stuff that I really love. And yeah, I'll tell you more about it then. But I know a lot of times I don't do this kind of like 
sit and chat with you guys or really talk with you in my cleaning videos. So I wanted to take advantage of this moment and just tell those of you that only watch my cleaning videos, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for coming back and re-watching cleaning videos and just getting inspired and motivated off my videos. It means so much to me and I just wanted to take advantage of this time and tell you guys that. So I'm going to end this video here. If you guys are new around here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a like, and I will see you all in my next video.